Hello everybody, welcome to a new video on my channel and this is actually the first uh, video of a new game and today I want to show you how to split and how to merge in Satisfactory because uh, I've never seen a real good video about it actually there's maybe one video so first of all, which is which? this is the splitter, you can see by the... I, I painted them but normally this would be orange uh, this is the input and the output is always the metallic uh, color. And the merger, exactly the same. Inputs are red or orange if you have the base color and the output. Uh, I think it's pretty uh, obvious what they do. This one merges conveyor belts to one. This one splits it up. So I'm gonna show you how to probably uh, use it. Let's see. So uh, I've set up a basic construction. Uh, we can put, uh, let's see, maybe we put 300 exact, oh, and don't wonder why I have so many, uh, stacked items, that's, uh, just a mod, I can show you that in a later video. So, we have our, uh, 300 iron plates in here, and we want to split them in three. So what we do is we place, uh, one conveyor belt input and three outputs. And now you can see they will split exactly the same. What you, uh, need to understand with with the splitters they exactly output uh, the percentage what you will get in so if you get 100% in and you have only let's say you have connected this one and this channel that means 50% are going in this direction and 50% are going in this direction and obviously because you don't have anything here uh, nothing will output from here that means if we put 100 uh, iron plates in here, we get 50 here and 50 there. Uh, this is a pretty useful advice because uh, what I often see in factories uh, are people who, let's see, place uh, splitters like this. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. They place them like this. Uh, like So here's the input. And they wonder, hmm. Why don't they all get the exact same thing, shouldn't they? Uh, actually, if we have, uh, let's say, here are our smelters. So, we get an input here of uh, 100. That means 50 are already going in this smelter and 50 are going here. That means 25 only go in this smelter and 25 go along uh, the way. And 25, if we don't have any more, going this. If we have one more, that means only 12 and a half go here and 12 and a half go in another one, and so on. Uh, so you always want to uh, look that you have the exact same uh, splitting thing. And this, uh, I will show you this in this video. So let's keep going. Uh, I think they should be done by now. I used the smallest split, uh, oil belts. Ah, okay. So, but we see 83 in here, 840 in here, 39 in here. So, they get split exactly the same. And that's easy, that's the basic stuff. So, but what happens if you, let's say, you want to split in four? Well, I'm going to build it real quick and then I'm going to show you. So, uh, I'm just connecting them up here and then I'm going to show you real quick how it's all working. So, I think it's basically... Uh, it's, it's easy to understand. Uh, no worries. So, we have our output or input here. And we want to split it up in four. Let's say you have, I don't know, you get 400 iron in and you want to, uh, you want to split it because uh, the machines are exactly five or four in this case. That means you will have to perfectly split. That means I'm going to get 400 in. And the first thing you want to do is you want to split them up in two. Why? Because you can only output three. But that means 50% are going in this direction, 50% are going in this direction. That further means if we split them up again, 25% are going in this direction, 25 in this, 25 in here, and 25 in here. So if we wait just a second, then we should see that uh, they are in every one are 100. That's uh, also the easy, uh, the more easy stuff. Now we're going to get into the 
real advanced stuff. And that means uh, times five, times six, times seven, and so on splitting. Uh, and there, we're already going to need the merger. I'm going to show you how to do it in just a second. But let's see first if uh, I've made if I've done everything correct. 101, 100, 100, 99. So it's exactly the same. You, know, it's, you can't make it uh, perfect because there always will be some some small issues. But that's not the problem here. I'm gonna connect them up again and I'm gonna show you uh, how to do it in just a second. So you already realized hmm, you put the merger there. Why that? So I'm gonna show you. First of all. Here, here, and here, and already, and also here, and here. So, what we now have is, uh, we split them up in six. It's m nearly the same as we split them up in six. You see, one is going out, he's gonna split in two. 55%, uh, 50% here, 50% here. And then, t of the 50% here, 35 in every one. But, now is the problem. That would mean that 25% are going in here and only like 18% uh, are going in everyone in this. Therefore, it's the merger. We want to connect another one here and get it back to the start. Now, what this does is the leftover pieces are going to the start again and get split up exactly the same. Really, you have to be careful there. You have to place the merger before the splitter let's see if we're correct <clears throat> put 500 in and we're already gonna notice they will fill up exactly the same because there are 100 in so uh 104 108 110 112 113 and 15 16 yeah so uh because that's what i actually mean so you see 21 uh, 22 24 26 26 so that's basically all you need to get to split five. Now I'm going to show you the times six splitting. The type six splitting is actually pretty easy. I'm, I won't going to show you here because I mean, I can explain it. And I think that's uh, like the most logic thing. You get an output here. Then you have uh, one output going in this direction, one in this 50% here, 50% here. And there it splits in three. It's the most simple thing. Uh, what you can keep in mind is every uh, even number, let's say four, two, four, uh, six, eight, ten, and so on. Uh, well, ten is actually a bit different, yeah. But twelve, you can just add more of these constructions. Like you just, if you want twelve, you double this one, put the splitter first, split them in this, and you're good to go. Twenty-four, the sec exact same. If you need eight, you're gonna make the the four split uh, like I showed you before and you just double it no big deal now I'm gonna show you the t uh, times seven split the times nine and the times ten because they are uh, oh and the times twelve uh, times eleven can I show you as well they are the most different uh, from the uh, from the rest but what you need to understand here basically it's just if you have an even number perfect you can connect them and you look that everything's going the perfect direction but if you have one less, then you all, you all, you every time you want to do it, you just need to uh, look which number fits perfect. Let's say if we got seven, then we would make it uh, the same as we would split uh, times eight. But the last one here, we're gonna get to a merger, uh, which is placed here in front of the splitter, the in front of the first splitter, and then we're just gonna connect them up. It's the most simple thing. So as you can see, I set everything up. Uh, and so we have our input here. The merger here, I'm going to explain later. Then we're going to split in two. Okay, 50% here, 50% here. Then we're going to split in two again. 50%, uh, 25 here, 25 here. And then we're going to split in two again. That means 12.5, 12.5. So... That means we have everything sorted perfectly except this one because we're splitting times seven. What are we going to do? Like I said before in the video, we're just gonna uh, drag this one to the beginning and we're good to go. Perfect. That's everything you need to know. So times nine is like you can, I think you can, it's, it's easy from this point now on. 
uh, times 9 is just you get 3 times 3 outputs, uh, 1 type uh, and 1 where it uh, splits uh, into those 3 and you're good to go. These are the most easy and basic things or actually a bit ad more advanced things. But uh, what you want to keep in mind and this is really important. Uh, if you have an input of uh, let's say 480 per minute, you can't place six uh, Mark One convertibles here, which uh, transfer 60 per minute. I think it's uh, just it makes sense, but uh, just for all of you. So what you want to keep in mind, you if you split uh, the input in two, you have to at least have the half um, uh, trans uh, transport capacity. So if we you put 40, uh, 480 in here, you will need 240 output there. And so on and so on. Uh, it's easy with the splitting with the merging guide, which also comes in a new episode. I'm gonna explain this everything a bit more in depth because uh, it's much more important there. If you enjoyed this short video on how to split in satisfactory, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It would really help me a lot, guys. Uh, I'm planning on doing more satisfactory things because I've seen there aren't many guides and especially mod guides aren't much here. Uh, so I want to show you the best things in satisfactory, especially when the update 4 releases. Have a great day and see us in the next episode.